In this Minecraft tournament, we have four teams. The British, the Austrians, the French, and the Prussians, all of which are in historical starting positions on this Minecraft Earth map. Each team has 45 minutes to build and 45 minutes to fight. Now, the objective of this Minecraft war is very simple. Each team has an obsidian tower that they must defend, and if they lose their obsidian tower, their respawns will be turned off and they will be on their final life. So, during the 45 minute build phase, each team must build a fortress just to defend their tower, gear up, and get ready for war. Because when the 45 minute fight phase begins, you better be ready. Now, we're currently in a Discord stage, so I'm gonna send each of the teams to their own VC, where the team leaders will make them line up, ready for the build phase to begin. Three, two, one, begin. Here we go. The Brits are off straight away. 45 minutes to build. They are going to be defending these obsidian blocks. Once the obsidian is destroyed, they're not allowed to respawn anymore. So this right here is quite literally the middle of England. Now, if we go across the English Channel, the French army and Steve, for some reason, is again going to be defending their obsidian, which is over here. But it's not just the French and the British. That's right. The Prussians are here and they are also getting to work. We also also have a fourth team here, which arguably might have a slightly OP spawn, which is yes, over the Alps. It's pretty obvious who this team is. This is the Austrians, and their obsidian is actually going to be up in this position here. Let's see how the British Isles are doing. They've already deforested pretty much the whole island. Sorry, Mr. Beast. The French have definitely got the worst spawn. They're like in the middle of the Austrians, Prussians, and the British, but they don't have any natural defenses. And so far, I've got to say, the industrious Brits are by far far in the lead. And the Prussians over here, all they've erected is a couple of beds and the dirt tower. So I'm gonna dip into their VC and see what their plan is. So we made no base because like iron's kind of cool. So like if we get armor, we can get pickaxes, which means we can get blocks faster, which means we can make a cool base. I'm not convinced by what they've made here. We'll see how that works for them. The French have done something with a block-like material. This is promising stuff. I'm gonna dip into their VC and see what they have been up to. We are gonna build a deep slate box around it and and then maybe put water in it because it's fun. I like your idea about putting water around the blocks though. That is pretty smart. So let's see. Okay, they're starting to put something together. The Brits and the French both have a base. What about the Austrians? They built a little bit of a fortress around. It looks horrible. Zero for style points, but I'm gonna dip into their VC. Let's find out what they say. I don't really know what we're doing right now. We're gonna try to eventually make, like how you said it's a box. We're not gonna keep that. It's very temporary. We're gonna make it look like a really, really cool bunker. I personally think you have the best spawn. You guys are really tucked away from combat here. You've got a good opportunity. What do you think on a scale of one to 10? How confident are you that you're gonna win? I'd say a solid seven. You know what they say about the tanks, like why they have rear rear mirrors so they can see the battlefield. I'm not worried about the French. Who are you worried about? Who do you think the most dangerous enemy is? The Prussians. I just despise them with the passion. Hopefully get the jump on them eventually. Okay, I will check back on you guys soon. Good luck. I really hope the Prussians have finally managed to build something. They've done a square. <laughs> I hate what they've made here. But they're industry is burning. They've got a lot of iron. I'm going to drop into their VC, see how confident they are. Are we allowed to go in the negative numbers or like... I think you guys, tools, weapons, and armor wise, you guys are definitely in the lead. Who are you most scared of so far? Player wise, I think Stick Golden's team may have the better He's players, right. but you know what they don't have? They don't have us. We're better. I don't give a reason why, but we're just better. Big word. I hope it doesn't come back to bite you in the edit. The French are looking pretty good. I'm not sure what they're building here, but they're tooled up. He's full iron already with a French flag. I've Want to know, Stick, on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you're going to win? Zero. Like, dead zero. Zero? Why? First of all, the freaking British and Prussians have, like, a freaking gazillion villagers. Second of all, the Austrians stole Sardinia, so we have no resources at all. We don't have any food. The farms aren't growing. The only thing we really have to our name is iron armor and lava buckets. You are the only team so far that has used their brain power. Nobody else has placed water. Your guys are looking pretty tooled up. You also have, let's not forget, Steve on your team. Team. Come on, man. Who's your number one threat? Definitely Austria. UK is really close, but I don't care about them. I think the French team are misguided to think these guys are a threat. They've not done anything yet. Okay, back over the Alps we go, and we are going to Britain. They've got a multi-walled fortress here. They've got the obsidian right in the center, but they still haven't figured out they should put water around it. Have these guys never played high pixel bed wars? Come on. On a scale of one to 10 Dutch, how confident are you that you're going to win? We've got a pretty good set of guys. We've got some good builders. I think we 
we can do very well in this. What is your fortress strategy going to be? Make sure the French don't get there. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Who are you trying to avoid? Thick Golden. He is one of the better PvPers on the server, but he's kind of hindered by his players. I think you guys have got a good chance of winning, but I think you've got a lot of work to do. We have got 16 minutes left. Also, you'll see we've got Britain, we've got France, we've got Austria, and we've got Prussia. Everyone is in their own VC with team leaders. The coordination here is on point. The Great Wall of France is continuing to go up. I'm not sure where they're getting all these flags from. Steve just kind of standing menacingly on the wall next to the Eiffel Tower. And then let's check back on the... Wow! Where did this all come from? There's a lot there. It's just, it looks horrifying. It's an actual eyesore. I just don't like it. It might actually be good though, because they've got like multiple layers of defenses they can work on here. The British might actually have the best looking fort. In fact, this is the only one that actually looks like a fortress here. Let's have a very quick look. 12 minutes on the clock. If the Austrians still haven't built anything, they're building a convenient way up, but very dangerous. Why have they built a harbor whilst still just having a horrible floating box? This is just not a fort. Also, in case anyone was confused, the yellow team are Austrian, the red team are British, the blues are French, and the black team is the Prussians. So, Austria, I'm just interested as to why you're building a harbor instead of defenses. I try to get my troops to prioritize getting iron first to get everybody suited up. Uh, we're focusing on late game right now. We got our guy on enchantments right now. No way! Really? Okay, so what we've done is I've gone and I've given everyone an additional 15 minutes on the clock because let's be perfectly honest, they needed it. Wow, okay. I was laughing at the Prussians earlier, but it's starting to look not totally embarrassing. The French base is beginning to come along. Their fortress is starting to take shape a little bit here. They got some defensive towers as well, but their obsidian just feels a little bit exposed. Look at this. The Austrian base is beginning to finally take shape. They're starting to put this big tower together here. They haven't filled it with water. That's going to be a critical error for any team that does not put water there. Let's come over here and look at the Brits. The moats around the outside are starting to look insane. There's now only 10 minutes on the timer. French team, you've built a lot, but you've not really concentrated your defenses in any one area. What's the strategy here? Confuse the enemy as much as possible. Best of luck to you guys. You've got about seven and a half minutes on the clock. Good luck. Britain, what's your strategy for taking down France? Channel tunnel. We've already got one that's already underneath their land, so all we need to do is break through. Uh, best of luck to you guys. Seven minutes on the clock. I will catch up with you guys soon. Hello, Scott. We are just actually about to make a whole little speech. Get people lined up and you joined. How's it going? Whoa, I don't believe it. You've actually got a little bit of structure going on here. I mean, I hate your base with a burning passion, but I think you guys might have a shot of winning this. What's your strategy when a battle starts? Who are you going for first? Uh, we learned Austria as weak, so naturally we're going to clobber them because, you know, screen time. You know how it is. Okay, guys, we're going to destroy them. We're going to beat them. Jump. Jump for happiness. Okay, well, best of luck. Bye. Okay, boys, you have got three and a half minutes on the clock. When a battle starts, what's your strategy? Who are you going for first? We're going to go for the Prussians if we can. We're just going to go to over the mountain, I guess. So your base is coming together a bit. This is nice. You've made a really nice harbor area. <laughs> yeah, you've put a lot of resources into that. As soon as the timer runs out, everyone stops. We will begin setting up for the battle preparation. Oh, that's it. Everyone's going to stop building now. Now the build phase has ended. Each of the four teams has had 45 minutes to defend defend their obsidian tower and get weapons and armor, so they should all now be ready for the 45 minute fight phase. Once again, we've got the British, the Austrians, the French, and the Prussians. And remember, their objective is to destroy the enemy obsidian towers whilst defending their own. The final team that still has some obsidian will be the winners of this tournament. And there we go, 45 minutes on the clock, boys. Let's see who wins this battle. The Napoleonic Wars in Minecraft straight away, the Brits and the French are at it. Oh! The Golden's in enemy territory. He's literally at the British base already. Looked at the British and the French who are literally all up in each other's grill. Let's go check on the Prussians and the Austrians. The Prussians were supposed to be... Nah, 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 nah. What a bunch of sweats. Oh, okay. First blood. Screw the Prussians, bro. The first blood is happening over by the British and the French bases. The Brits are all over them. We haven't looked at the Austrians yet. What are the Austrians doing? The Austrians are on top of the wall. They've manned the battle 
pencil stations here. Somebody just ender pearled up here, though. Oh, that was a bold ender pearl there, sir. Hold on a second. The Prussians are making moves. And also a bunch of French are getting killed. The Prussians are fighting against the Austrians and the Brits are fighting against the French. Oh my god. Oh no! It's stick golden! Nobody knows this is happening. How long is this gonna take him? I cannot believe it. They've got nobody overwatching that position. Okay, he's been spotted. Her creek has been spotted him. He spotted him before he got it. Oh, and stick golden's been reset. It was so close. Again, they still haven't placed any water on their position. The Prussians might actually snipe the obsidian. This is dangerous. What's happening down here? Oh, some of the Brits got into the French base, but they, again, the French have got really good flag guards here. They are holding onto that obsidian like their life depends on it. The British attack has been foiled, but who's this over here? Hello there. The Brits are tunneling in, boys. That's 10 minutes gone. We've got 35 minutes on the clock. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, I just saw it in time. He doesn't even know. Literally one of the obsidian blocks is gone. He's got another one. And now he's been spotted. The stick golden team leader is in. Now everyone is in full panic mode. That is serious. That is some big, 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 big development. The British one is secure. And as far as I can see, I can't find any French soldiers trying to get to it. Okay, so Mongol Jesus is distracting whilst he goes to the next block. He's in for the next block. He's making a play for the third obsidian block. Again, the defender's in, but hasn't spotted it. Has he spotted it in time? Oh, it's gonna be so close. Oh, he's been nope. found. He could have got that if he just kept digging and now he's been found. That was a misplay. The French are holding on by the skin of their teeth. Let's check in down here. All of the Austrian blocks are still very much alive. Oh, hold on a second. What's this we have here then? We've got a fight over here. The Prussians are fighting for their lives over here. All their obsidian blocks are alive, but the Austrians are making a play. They're burning down the base. This is what happens when you build your base out of wood. Also, let's just see. Did this guy manage to get the obsidian? He is so close. He's gonna snipe it. He's in. He's about to get the first obsidian block. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. You see, this is the value. People need diamond pickaxes, man. They found him. No, you were there for so long. You could have had that. That is so infuriating. The French are down to one single obsidian block. They are slowly but surely. They need to do something about these tunnels. Let's look at the British fortress. The Brits were under attack just a minute ago. The Brits have lost an obsidian block. This is getting interesting. The French might just have a shot. Oh my god. Okay, go. He's doing it. No, Creeper Krieger in from the nowhere. Iron Oxide Creeper Krieger came in and they have fumbled. Okay, go. The fight of their life has just started here. The fight for France has begun. Somebody's making a play for it. Are the French about to go down? This could be absolutely insane. Is Okay, go about to get it? We might have our first team out. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Nope. It's gonna be oh, I'm so close. He just got put down to the line. Last second. That is absolutely mental. It looks like the French have stabilized. That was milliseconds away from a British cap there. The French are on their last legs. The Austrians have lost the block. The Austrian defense is just lackluster. The Prussians are pouring in over the Alps. The Brits are suddenly fighting for their base here. The French have somehow made a comeback. The French mining division has arrived. Suddenly the British are losing momentum here. They're playing a risky game here, but I think they need to do what they're doing. If they just constantly defend, eventually they're going to get killed. They need to be on attack against the British at all times. Let's go check on the Prussians and the Austrians. Who is winning that fight? We've got 18 minutes remaining. They're down to only two obsidian blocks left. They could also lose. What's happening over here? Have the, the French are out. The French have been destroyed. Moonwalker standing victorious in what was once France. Yeah, look at this. The siege cannons are going up and the Brits have arrived in Prussia. It's an absolute punch up outside the front gates. This this could actually be good for Austria because the Prussians might now be the primary target here. Yeah, look at this. The Austrians are suddenly, for the first time in this video, they are getting a breath of fresh air. But look at this. There's not been a single tunnel dug underneath the Prussian base. Oh, sorry. This looks like somebody might be making a play for it. He's literally directly beneath this guy. He's exposed himself. No! Oh, it was such a good play. The Austrians are here. This is a real fight inside the Prussian base. The Prussians have stabilized. They did not lose an obsidian block. Oh my god. I did not see this happening. The Brits have been destroyed. The Brits are on their final life. Who would have guessed it? Both the French and the British are dead. We've got seven 
minutes on the timer. I think the Prussians might have this in the bag. Let's have a quick look. The Prussians are swarming. They've lost an obsidian block. The Austrians are invading Prussia and they're not totally failing. As it currently stands, the Prussians have got three obsidian blocks remaining. The Austrians are in here. They're literally swarming the Prussians. Oh, you just lost one. You just lost one right there. The Prussians have got two blocks here and so do the Austrians. So what's going to happen here? If when the timer runs out, which by the way, it's on two and a half minutes. If they both still have two blocks, it's going to sudden death. First team to take a block. The French are out. The British are out. It's Prussia versus Austria. Oh, we got an elite play happening here. It's all about stealth, isn't it? It's all stealth. No, Jacob G's there to defend it. Jacob G's putting him down. It only takes one of these Austrians to get under this and dig up to cap one of these blocks. And that's exactly what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening here. I don't think they've seen this. Oh, they saw it last second. Literally, look at this lad here. Oh, oh, oh he just got, who got that? Hold on a second. There's 20 seconds on the clock. The Austrians might have just won this. Okay, that's my timer. That's my, I just need to very quickly check on the Austrians. If the Austrians have got two blocks, they win. They do. The Austrians have two blocks. As it turns out, we had quite a lot of British soldiers who were alive and were planning a big play, but ran out of time because they're idiots. Now, we also had Steve and two French soldiers alive who just didn't have enough time to make a play. Unbelievably, with 15 seconds on the clock, the Austrians capped the Prussians' last obsidian block, or second to last obsidian block. The final results were, as we ended there, the Austrians have got two obsidian blocks, the Prussians only have one, the Austrians are victorious. Here's what we're gonna do. It's a punching death match. Don't kill your own team, begin the fight. Last man standing, oh my god. Oh, look at this. There's like five Brits here teaming this guy. People are starting to die. There's definitely a lot less players on the map here than there were before. The Prussians are running for their lives. Bufus is about to be beaten to death by four <laughs> Scottish men, and there we go. Those are words I never thought would come out of my mouth. Yeah, Steve just punched a Scotsman to death. I think the Scots have overdid themselves. They literally just got into too many fights and now they've been put down. Judnor, come on, get in there. Judnor, you're not getting any crits, bro. Steve, Steve's come to finish him off. Ah, there we go. Are these the final two guys? Steve and Iron Oxide begin the fight. Let's see, if you look at all these floating heads, bro. <laughs> no! <laughs> Iron Oxide is a man of honor. Steve takes the victory, Steve. <laughs> so the Austrians have won this Minecraft tournament, but we've already got the next one recorded, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And if you want to join these Minecraft events, then join my Discord using the links in the description.